What's up guys and welcome back to Tropico 6. In the previous episodes, I kind of made an oopsie. I kind of did a bad thing and uh, and that is let this time right down here, this 11 years and four months, letting that run down is not a smart decision. In order to basically pass this level or the mission, if you will, you pretty much have to keep that as full as it can possibly be. So every time that um, Lord Windham would hit us up and give us the option between choosing money or extending that time period, we would take the money. So long story short, the final objective that we had was to export a certain amount of planks. Unfortunately, we only had a year left to do so. So I might have had to start an entirely new save, but it's not the end of the world, believe me. Now that I kind of have it figured out a little bit more, I definitely think we're gonna be able to actually pass this mission finally. So we are now basically in the same position we were previously in episode two, just on an entirely new save. And I really didn't change a whole lot. The only thing that I changed was like making this road over on this island a lot shorter so we can get more coconuts a lot quicker. I also added the jail or the dungeon to, to this random island out here because it literally serves no other purpose. And then out here just looks slightly different as well. But now we can finally continue where we left off. So let's go ahead and uh, and we'll click play here. What we were waiting on is exporting gold nut. And I'm pretty sure we have, yes, 360, nope, not that much, <laughs> 260 gold nut. So that should be being Governor, exported. This there we go. This is one of the sneakiest coconut related gold smuggling plans I have ever participated in. So good, so good. So basically what Goldnut is, I don't think I explained that very well. Penultimo had this brilliant idea of hiding gold nuggets inside of coconuts and sort of smuggling them places, right? Absolutely genius idea. So we went ahead and did that. We went through with that plan and we've now exported 150. I'm but actually, exporting I've been chatting we did export... God, <laughs> Windham. Making money. What? But oh, have a theater? Small. That's dude. That's easy. That's super easy. Um, but basically, we we've exported a lot more than that. We actually had quite a bit more gold nut in storage. But the reason we had so much is because we actually signed a trade route with smugglers for five thousand units of gold nut, and we've only done two hundred and sixty so far. So we got uh, got a ways to go on that front. We're also running meat right now. We're just about done on that export. We have rum again, a little over halfway there on that one. And lastly, we're doing some fish. Fish actually takes a long, long time. I don't know if maybe, yeah, I, I guess I'm just missing one worker out here, but it takes forever to actually get some fish. Ooh, and our pirates are returning. What were they doing? Please God, tell me it was something important. Oh yeah, they were rescuing as many people as they could possibly find. Okay, good. A technique that I've been trying to use too is anything that we are currently using a trade route for, any one of those jobs, I've been trying to make it so that the employees working those jobs will actually get paid a little bit more just to make sure that we always have someone working in those facilities. So fish, for example, we have this thing maxed out on its on its budget. It's normally in the middle, but uh, all the all the ones that we have a route for are Viva completely maxed. Revolution. Together, Governor Ju we need 10 more immigrants. We need all the people we can get. We have a ton more housing and I'm actually utilizing these overlays as well. So like residential occupancy, for example, you can see these are a little bit lighter in color. We have this one over here that's not doing so hot, not doing so good over there. But then we can also look at the workforce occupancy, which will show, you know, how many jobs we actually have filled up in the city or around the islands, I guess I should say. So our next task now, we did complete a rescue. Did it say? It didn't even say how many people we rescued. Okay, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Let's just do rescue as many people as we can again. We'll send them out, have them come back. It's really, really nice to have as many people in town as we possibly can. So we, we're sitting at 237, which isn't that many people, but I think we're gonna be okay. 
All right, let's see how much money we're raking in. Expected revenue, 12,000. So this is all the stuff that we're able to now export. We have everything that we had before. I've just streamlined it all so it works a little bit better. But while we're waiting for the boats to pick up the stuff from the docks, I think we should probably get a theater. That, I believe, is something we're gonna have to actually unlock. Oh, it's not, it's already unlocked, great. And then I <laughs> I did build us a circus tent for literally no reason at all. I just thought it would be kind of cool. So we, we do have a circus now as well. But I think I'm going to put this wherever I can. Does it have like a front door or anything? I think this is the front. I'm going to place that down right there. Cool. So now we got ourselves a theatre. And then what's he going to give us for that? Eight immigrants. I'm down. Oh my god, the crown's actually giving us immigrants? Fulfill export trade with the crown and we can extend the mandate time by 18 months that's the thing i was talking about earlier this uh this little timer down here we're at 10 years it was a year guys we only had a year left and there was just no way we were going to be able to uh extend that time any further so doing much much better now all right we just got 12 more inhabitants and fourteen thousand dollars from this boat right here picking up our stuff at the docks Okay, so now that we're getting quite a few more people, I think, if I remember correctly, I have these four bunkhouses down here by the docks. Those are all set up so that you don't have to be considered wealthy to live in those, whereas this whole residential area in here, you do have to at least be... I want to say it's wealthy. No, wealth required is poor on those. But the ones at the docks, wealth required is broke. Um, I don't believe anyone pays for housing. No, all of these people pay for housing up here. But down here, this is totally free. We're basically just giving them a place to live so they don't put those crappy little shacks everywhere. Complete the loot raid? Done. Done. Open raid screen. Oh, nice. Eight immigrants. Thank you so much. now attend the theater. It is possible that this is not a trap. It is also possible that I will one day be king of the world. Oh, have El Presidente visit the theater. Okay. So, select El Presidente. He's currently at the sugar plantation. We're going to move him over to the theater. And then let's hire a foreign worker to, uh, to first work at this theater. That'll probably be a good idea. Okay. And then loot. Complete the loot raid. Open raid screen, loot. Oh, just any loot? Really? Any loot? What do we want, though? We don't really need a whole lot of anything. Coal, I guess, would be nice. Coffee, we have corn, we have sugar. The problem is we have all of this stuff. We don't have bananas, I suppose. Let's just do the banana one, right? <laughs> let's just let's just do that. Oh, no, let's do all of them. Oh, we can queue up all of them. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, so that's all set up. Dude, also, the background music is just... Chef's kiss, just so good. So good. And from what I understand, it should be royalty free. If I get copyright flagged for this video, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so pissed because it clearly says in the settings, play stream safe music, meaning royalty free or copyright free music. So we should be good. I hope. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, are we gonna be able to, see, look at that, dude, $12,000, like clockwork. Seriously, like clockwork. Every single boat that comes into the dock, we're getting 12, sometimes even more, thousand dollars. And then what contracts are we running? We still have fish, we still have rum, we're still working on gold nut. That's gonna be there for a long time, unfortunately. It's gonna take a while. And then meat. Okay, so once meat is finished, I believe after this boat picks it up, it should be over and done with. Yeah, 592 meat. Because right now we have it set so that whatever we're producing that can be consumed, or whatever we have a trade route for that can be consumed, we have it so local consumption is actually turned off. So after this boat leaves the docks, we'll be able to turn this back on for both buildings. That way, everyone in town can, can have some meat again. We have a new trade route available. Tobacco's the only thing, and unfortunately, we don't really there. have anywhere Okay, I'm just going to extend this. <laughs> Shut up, Windham. We don't really have any good spot to grow tobacco at the moment. If we if we did, I think, if I remember right, it was up here, which is just a little bit too far away 
for my liking at the moment. We can worry about that a little while later. We have pirates trying to attack the lumber mill. Stupid, dumb, actually. Idiotic, in fact. We haven't had any issues <laughs> with the pirates. They have not been an issue at all. Dang, dude, I really wish that we could do another export. We have a new offer in eight months. So we'll just have to wait it out with these three. All right, the loot should be about done as well. That's weird. Have El Presidente visit the theater. I tried that already, and he didn't seem to want anything to do with it. Governor, I am sure oh, there we go. Oh, alas, por penultimo. Wait. As I reached for the peanuts, something went bang, then bang again. Nine more times. Wait. What? Are you serious? But Penultimo's like our like our home our home dog. He's our home girl. Praise the staging. Wake from your slumber somewhat irritated or help Penultimo. I'm gonna help him. What's praise the staging? I don't know what that Penultimo means. Penultimo is a national hero. We respect those who get shot for the cause. Some of us hope to get shot ourselves one day. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have three guard towers. Okay, we've yeah, already done that. Oh, Boom, oh, done. Dude, we're flying through this. So pretty today. Okay, oh, have... sorry, I have been bleeding a little since I was shot and my head is very light. I feel like that was... I feel like that was staged. Maybe. He's trying to win us over. Average faith happiness of 35. That is very close. Average food happiness of 55. Oh, but this one's already completed, so let's just do Liberty? Average liberty happiness, 55 out of 55. Let's try that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Hang on. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. I would hope so. Have an average revolutionary's approval of 63 out of 60. Have a percentage of the population supporting revolutionaries, 58 out of 60. So we do have to do that a little bit more. But it sounds like we're going to proclaim independence here pretty soon. Is that what's going on? And I think that is actually the end of this mission, this particular mission. So maybe we'll be ending on episode three for My this. Governor, Who knows? The people are filled with bile. The have a fort. I already got one. I already got one. I am way ahead of you guys. All right, we still have the loot raid going on. Revolutionaries. Percentage of the population supporting revolutionaries. I don't know how I would turn anyone else into a revolutionary. To be completely honest, new People task. Tropical love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite taste. Wait, did we just, <laughs> did we just beat it? I didn't even do anything. All these things just kept popping up, and I just kept clicking on them. Declare independence and prepare for war, or declare independence and pay the crown fifteen thousand dollars. I feel like if we don't choose the war option, then we won't reach that new era that we want to reach, the Cold War or World War or whatever it was. I don't know what to do, dude. I don't know what to do. I wish I could, can I save right now? Let me, <laughs> this is probably a little cheatsky doodly, but I'm gonna save and then if for whatever reason I pick the bad option or the worst option of the two, then we can just go back to the save and pick the other one, right? So I'm gonna do declare independence and pay the crown $15,000 because we have $320 more than that currently. So let's try it. We'll see what happens. We have now proclaimed independence. Excellent. I knew you had a good head on your shoulders and would want to keep it there. Okay, Windham is pleased. Governor, you did it. At last, let us savor the sweet taste of freedom. Mm. Wait, for real? Mm. No way. It, it tastes a bit like coconut. So, that's it. For real? For real, dude? And it's so. Oh, the story baby. Is All right. Told. This is cool. This that is good. That is how we met, Presidente. The most important time of my life. I still have the assassin's bullets, you know. I keep them close to my heart. All right. Who would imagine that such a story would be only a minor chapter in somebody's life? But you, most celebrated Presidente, your life has seen adventure I really like their, the voice actors that they got for this. This dude especially, he's good. Penultimo. But those are stories for another day. Now, old Penultimo is tired. 
old Penultimo will sleep and dream of your past glories, my Presidente. Oh. Dope, dope, dope. So the next missions then you have done it, that you can do. Victory is ours. I mean, or you could continue victory playing. Victory is yours. <laughs> um, the next missions that we'd be able to do then are not structured anymore. Like it, it doesn't have the, I don't even know how to explain this. It's not like a career mode type of thing. Like there is sandbox, but there's no one bossing you around the whole time telling you what to add and what you need and yada, yada, yada. I like that about this though. So I think I do want to start another one, but I'm not sure which one I want to start. So if you guys have any suggestions on which one I should check out next, definitely let me know. Just so we're clear, these are the next ones that we can do. We have Speakeasy, which is one big island and a smaller island off to the right. We have Better Red Than Dead, which I don't even know what that means, but that's cool. We have the Chocolate Factory, which I'm assuming we're just gonna try to capitalize yeah, what started as a race for a golden ticket to Wizard Wonkmeister's Chocolate Factory. That one sounds pretty good too. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. And then we have Pirate King. So we could be a Pirate King in that one. I definitely like the missions though. I can appreciate what they're trying to do here. Otherwise, we can do a completely and totally random sandbox map and uh, and just see how far we can possibly progress. I don't hate that idea either. But uh, I definitely wasn't expecting this thing to be over in three episodes. And I feel like this is going to be probably the shortest episode yet. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video. Help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one, whatever one that may be. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.